Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and today I have a fun St. Patrick's Day card to share with you today. Okay, so I'm using the Gnome dies, the Jada Blossom St. Patrick's Day add-ons, the Clover Cluster stamp set, and the Clover Cluster outline dies. And I'm using the Lucky Charm stamp set um, and outline dies and bunny mail. So I put this guy together on the Gnome dies St. Patrick's Day add-ons. Um, you so you can check that out. Now I have a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches. And that's going to be my um, card base. And I'm stamping a sentiment on the inside that says happy St. Patrick's Day. There we go. Using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Next, I am going to line up the front of my card and I'm going to do some stamping on the front. So I'm using this, um, clover cluster and I'm going to position it in the lower right hand corner and I'm using rustic wilderness distress oxide ink and I'm going to stamp that on the back of my card so remember you're better off stamping multiple times not pressing too hard you don't want to make the you know the lines any fatter than they're supposed to be or you know blur out any of the lines so you're better off just stamping multiple times and that's why a misty is your friend there we go. I just think this is a super pretty image. And remember, you don't have to color it. And that's what I'm showing you today. You can use it just as a line background. There we go. Kind of pretty. Now I've got a piece of acetate just so I can add more stamping to the lower left hand side of the card. But I didn't want to get the ink on it. I didn't want to clean the stamp. So that's what the acetate was for. Now I'm going to stamp again, um, you know, kind of butting up to what I've got stamped already. There we go. Just trying to fill in like, you know, have a florally lucky looking border to this card. Now I've got some clovers from that same stamp set and I'm just going to freehand stamp some. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off the I'm off the screen a little bit there, but I'm sort of just filling in um you know, filling in around the images with these with these little stamps you'll notice that I'm stamping on a piece of fun foam it just gives like it it just makes it easier it it has some give that way so I'm going to add a couple more so I used um you know clovers and shamrocks right so I'm just sort of adding a few to my card and using that same rustic wilderness kind of to give it that kind of, um, you know, background look. Next, I'm pulling out the Bunny Mail stamp set, and I'm going to use a shamrock from that, but it's a solid one. And I'm going to freehand stamp using uh, Mode, Long, Mode Lawn Distress Oxide Ink, and I'm just going to freehand stamp over a few of these clovers. Now, they don't fit, like they're not the same size, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to add a few, you know, as a, you know, kind of like an accent right? I'm just going to stamp a few of them just for fun. You know, just give a little bit of interest to my background. And the nice thing about Distress Oxide Ink is you can stamp with it, right? Which is fun. It also sits on top of the cardstock so you can overlap inks, which is also fun. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know why I'm off the screen a little bit there, but oh, there we go. Moved it up a little bit late, but you get the gist. And there we go. Okay, so, oh, you know what? I'm going to be, I didn't stamp that on the inside. Sorry, guys, I just stamped it on a scrap of that cardstock. I'm going to be cutting out that sentiment with my sentiment strip dies. Oh, no, I'm cutting it with the outline die for that from the flower cluster. Sorry, guys. There we go. I'm using my um, little little spellbinder, spellbinders mini empress machine and there we go and I cut another little clover that is from that St. Patrick's Day add-ons from the gnomes using um, some smooth green cardstock from American Crafts okay so next I'm going to add a strip of doodlebug cardstock to the inside there we go that's the dot grid and I'm just adding that and I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. You'll notice that I did get some ink smudges on the inside of the upper part of my card. I'll fix that in a bit. Now I'm adding that clover that I cut to the inside. 
And of course my glue wasn't flowing, so I just grabbed another one. I'm not sure which one this is. It's probably Art Glitter Glue. It's in a little extra bottle that I got from Amazon. They're little cheapo bottles. There we go. So I'm adding that little clover to the inside of my card. Now next I'll be popping up this sentiment that was from that, that clover cluster stamp set stamped onto um, Paper Trank white cardstock with the VersaFine Claire, or VersaFine Onyx black ink, sorry. They're pretty, they're, they're almost the same, but my um, VersaFine Claire is kind of getting dried out. I had to order a new ink pad because it's all dried out. So I'm using this VersaFine uh, Onyx, which is basically the same. So I'm just sort of lining that up with my reverse tweezers. And I'm going to be adding my little gnome to the lower right-hand corner. And I will pop him up as well. Why not? Right, there we go. Pulled off the backing to those. You'll notice I do have some secure white jelly roll pen highlights to that. And I used a doodle bug pottle gold six inch pad um, for his hat. So I'm just going to use that same dot grid. This is the 12 inch paper line from doodle bug. And I'm just, I cut it at four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to cover the inside of the, the, the inside of my card at the top where all those smudges were. Now, if it didn't bother you, you could have left it, but it was really bothering me. So I hit it. I made it a design element. No one will know, but you and me. Okay, next I'm going to stamp another sentiment. This will be going on uh, the card as well. And it says, shake your shamrock. That will be for the inside. I'm going to stamp with that same VersaFine Onyx black ink onto that paper tray ink white cardstock. And like I said, I've got that a waffle flower grip mat on the inside of my Misty, which works really well for holding your cardstock there. Um, and if it starts to lose its stick, you just have to wash it off. So rather than buying sticky mats, it's kind of a good way to go. So there we go. Peel it off. And now I'm using the outline die from that. I really like the fonts on this sentiment set. That Lucky Charm stamp set is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to use see-through tape to um, hold it in place while I run it through my die cutting machine. Okay, next I'm going to add some glue and I will add that sentiment to the inside of my card. And there we go. I'll just add that to the inside. And there you have it. It's kind of cute, right? Shake your shamrock. It's a fun little sentiment and I will weight it down. I'm using a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add a few little dots to my shamrock or to my um, to my uh, clover on the inside. And there we go. And on the outside, I'll be adding some little sequins, some pretty pink posh sparkling clear confetti mix. And um, I'm not sure what I'm doing at this point, but that's my plan. Oops, and I'm sorry I lost that footage. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired by the team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you come and watch again soon. Bye, everybody.